Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's episode, we're actually going over some recent news that actually came up yesterday. <laughs> and essentially about an hour after I literally uploaded and posted my video for yesterday, um, they actually went ahead and made a tweet, literally like right after I made my, I posted my video, uh, saying this. We apologize for the delay but it's taking a bit more time to get in our initial tweaks to PvP tiers than previously anticipated. We'll share more details as soon as they're ready. Thank you for your patience and understanding." Now first of all, when I first saw this, like, I just gotta say, like, I, I was completely, like, this was just completely unexpected, first of all. Uh, cause normally they don't, I don't think I've ever heard Square Enix, like, actually, like, initiate an actual, like, full-blown apology type thing. It's always been like a kind of like, oh, our mistake, okay, here's compensation, please look over it. That's how it's always felt like to me. Um, I don't think we've ever actually had just like a full-blown actual kind of like, hey, here's the situation, just le just letting you guys know type of thing. I don't think that's like ever really happened before. If it has, it's it's it doesn't happen very often at all. What to, like it like you could probably count the number of times that's happened like on your hand. Uh, but essentially, there's there's quite a few things about this tweet that, that kind of stir up a lot of things. One of them being that I'm actually super grateful and happy about the fact that they actually gave us a legitimate like communicative tweet or like announcement this time okay because of what i just said like they ne they almost never do it it's and one of our biggest gripes as a community for like the longest time has literally uh just been to just please communicate with your fan base like it's it's not too hard i can make a tweet myself along the lines of saying something like attention all keyblade wielders Changes to the PvP tiers and rewards haven't been updated yet, but we will let you know as soon as we get more info. Thanks for your patience and understanding. Thanks, hashtag Ian Cross or whatever the heck you else want to hashtag. <laughs> like something like this is honestly all I'm asking for uh, because like it just shows consideration for the player base. That's all I'm really asking for. And, and their tweet that they brought out yesterday was honestly the closest thing to consideration towards the fan base that we've that I've probably seen in quite a long time to be honest uh, so it was a very nice change of pace to do to see that um, and there was a lot of piece of positive feedback uh, in the comment section of the tweet itself as well and I can only hope that they continue to provide more like announcements like this are just simply in consideration of the fan base now on the flip side <laughs> there's some other uh, stuff I would have to say about this as well um, in terms of like in a more realistic approach. In last night's tweet, like I just showed you, it did say, but it's taken a bit more time to get our in our initial tweaks to PvP tiers than previously previously anticipated. This part right here kind of kind of completely contradicts what they literally just stated in their previous tweet, which was uh, recently we made a post stating the upcoming changes for PvP, which were recently implemented. I don't know about you guys, but they quite literally made it sound like that the changes were already in place, okay? Like, they already happened. And then, as well, they continued on in their follow-up comment stating that, also, please keep in mind that the current special rank week is still in effect, so changes might not be as apparent until the start of the next rank week. Basically, all together, they made it, they, they completely, like, clearly made it sound like and seem like that the changes already happened, they're already in the game. We just simply had to wait until the beginning of the next PvP week, which we're already in. Okay, like this, we're already um, like halfway into the PvP week. And it's like we still haven't seen anything. So for them to definitely make it clear like that in that tweet, um, but then to have a tweet yesterday actually saying that it's taking more time to actually uh, get it worked out, it's it just comes across to me as in like, well, what's really the truth then, Square Enix? Like. Are you finished with it? Are you not finished with it? What's going on? Uh, and oh, oh, basically, it's making it a little bit difficult to actually be able to trust them as to whether or not, like, they're actually tell telling the truth or not. Do they, like, at this point, uh, as much as I really appreciate the considerate tweet that they made last night, and I, I am all for them to please keep continue doing that, um, at the same time, it. It, it makes me wonder if behind the scenes it could be possible that maybe like they don't know what they're doing or they just have no plans to actually do anything about it. I have no idea. Um, or they just haven't done anything about it yet either. I have no idea, okay? 
Um, now, another possible alternative to that is the fact that maybe they are telling the truth. Um, and part of the issues that could have been involved uh, towards this like delay that they state that they're like going through right now is the fact that they could be having issues with the new uh, Android 9.0 Pi that recently came out in the mobile market because of the fact they did make a announcement within game saying that there is issues as well as the fact that I know there's also been issues within the JP version of the game because of the new phone. Uh, and, w and that was actually the whole reason in case you weren't aware why they had to actually push back PvP and JP an extra day. Uh, so we weren't able to actually get a heads up as to which Keyblades we're going to use this time in Global like we usually do because of the fact that JP didn't get, it, uh, didn't get it before us, which is what usually happens. Either one of these could be possible. Uh, it's it, it can, a third option could be that maybe it is a little bit of both. I have no idea. The fact is though, based on what we've seen, is it comes across, at least to me, like they're not being completely honest with us. Uh, which makes me a little skeptical, especially, especially after knowing uh, Square Enix's previous history with this game so far. Um, so based off their previous record, it, it's still not too much to put too much trust in, and I'm still just going to be waiting for, for more action than anything else. But at the very least, Square Enix, I do appreciate the step you've taken last night to at least, least be as considerate as possible. Uh, in that tweet. But other than that, uh, those are my thoughts about this today, guys. I would love to hear what you have to think about it in the comment section down below. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemarts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.